three, two, one, zero, zero, and lift off. So this is just a quick video of uh, organizing sandpapers. So I got this binder right here, and uh, I seen a picture of it. Big old binder. I want to zoom you guys out just so you can see everything. Okay, that's far as we can do. Oh, but and then I wrote the different kind of grits that I have or usually have. I'll place them in here and then organize my sandpaper. So let me go ahead and start placing them in here. that will come up it's gonna look something like that and you're like hey AJ you got other folders well you see I just have them right here um, I won't use all of this so I'm just gonna probably put them put them somewhere in there just so when I have to use them again I can but I have like random ones that are still useful so that's gonna go in the miscellaneous ones I'm just gonna go through and find, you know, 80 grit. I'm gonna go where 80 grit is. You know, uh, 120 is gonna go with 120. Stuff like that. 60 is gonna go with 60. And it's just gonna organize the sandpaper. So that's 122. That's 120 and 180. I'll just throw that one off to the side for right now. And 320. Oh, okay. Super fun, apparently. Um, I'll probably make another one just for 320 now. But 80 goes with 80. And then I don't think I have any more of that one. But that was 80. Hmm. But yeah, and then I just have all these random miscellaneous ones. I don't know if I want to throw out or what, but we'll figure it out. Like, oh, this one's 60, that one's 80, that one's 120. So we can just put them in their respected areas. So 60, 80, 120. Sweet. But yeah, so there that is. Just a really cool, cheap idea to organize some grip. Not grip tape, uh, uh, sandpaper and stuff. Got some extra ones just in case if I need to organize anything else, make this bigger, whatever. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, do something good for someone else.